there's guys over there doing PT. I'm gonna send you over there after this. What if something falls on your head? You're fired, Matt. F sandwich. Staying hard isn't optional. Oh uh, yeah? Was that good? No, Matt, the reality is I don't like talking to people at all. Oh, there's a skid steer. We're good. It's a fish tank, but with a man inside of it. Yeah, this is a big job. <laughs> Funny enough, I went to this event when I was still working for Abo America. Really? Yeah. Wow. How the turntables. Mm hmm That was four years ago. I should probably explain where we're going, huh? Probably. I'll walk, we'll walk over here and I'll explain it. This is good. I'm just getting the banana. You're going to be able to build, a, build out a YouTube video. That's what I'm doing. Or, End of the year. One hour of Aaron eating, <laughs> eating I mean, in 28 states. I have to go. I didn't plan ahead. I have to go find it all. I gotta go back to the footage. Oh, bummer. But it's like, it's gonna be worth it. Hello. Howdy. Also, I have no idea if we have permission to film any of this. Yeah, yeah. We've been on manual focus. <clears throat> That's not good. Oh, no. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the good old Dillwit vlog. We are coming to you today from sunny Phoenix, Arizona at the National Guard Base Papago. Uh, Papago, I don't know what the A base is actually called. We're at the Arizona Construction Career Days. This is a really cool event. I've been coming here for four years now. First time I went, maybe even five. It's been a while. It's a really cool event where they bring in thousands of kids that are high school age and introduce them to the world of construction. So there's a bunch of contractors out here, like big ones like Sun today. We're here to see BPG. We're actually gonna go to one of their jobs after this. And they bring out their GCs and their civil contractors. So they'll bring out, uh, they'll be like woodworking or plumbing or right there there's two little 302 excavators for people to jump on. All the kids, they get off the buses, they get t-shirts, they get hard hats, they get vests. It's a really bad event. I'm a huge fan of it and I'm excited to be here today. So with that, let's go see what we got today. This here is a horizontal directional drill. See these rods? Those are those are 10 foot rods in, in that basket there, right? Yep. Sit up there. Go ahead, get up there. So look at that. Just like, see the joysticks? That's going to push those rods out, right? So each one of those rods is 10 foot long. So. Who wants to guess how many feet are in this? Four. Now, do you remember, I said how long are the rods? They're 10 foot. Huh? Ah, ah, All right, so 480 <laughs> feet, right? So we could drill horizontally under the ground. Wow. So this is a directional drill. Hors horizontal directional drill. So these are stakes, right? It holds the machine in place, right? So as this is pushing out, you don't want the machine pushing back, right? Yeah. So, 480 feet. Anybody see that white van down there? Yeah. That's sticking out? I bet that's about 480 feet, right? Roughly? Yeah. So this can go under the ground, 480 feet. You should do it. <laughs> I know, I wish they would let me, right? Right? And then, then when we get there, we put this on. This is called the reamer. We put that in and we pull it back and we pull pipe back. We pull pipe back and then, Inside that pipe, that's a fiber optic cable. If you walk through our booth, we got a fiber optic splicing trailer. So here at BPG, we do several things. We do designs, we do construction, we do technologies and electric. So a customer comes to us and they say, hey BPG, we need, we need you to just do this whole thing. We're like, great, you know, we got surveyors that go out and survey, and then we got CAD, and then we got people to go get the city to get the permit, and then we come out, and our guys that are sitting on the directional drill, they drill the pipe in, and then our guys come in, and they splice the fiber, and then we have connectivity. A little bit about myself, so you guys want to hear this. I barely finished high school. I've owned this company now for 21 years. We employ 100 and 95 people. So I'm a living example that college isn't always the right path. I'm a true success story of you can go into a trade 
and you could have a wonderful life. Our team here, if you walk around, meet some of the team members, we have such an amazing team. It gives me chills, gives me goosebumps. And it was just having that belief in yourself and going for it. Keep your minds open to our construction industry. There's so many other avenues within it. We have, we have mechanics, we have welders, we have accountants, we have CAD, we have surveyors, we have, um, I think we have 65 different positions within our company. Just when you think construction, it doesn't mean you're the one getting your hands dirty, but you always start somewhere. There's so many opportunities in construction and, and I'm excited that you guys are here today and, and learning more and more about it and there's some great companies here, great partners and, and uh, it's wonderful what we do. So, all right. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate you guys coming out. I'm just gonna run the little mini excavator the whole time. So you can go film it, I'll, I'll be here. Wait, can we do that? Uh, yeah, that's what they're there for. I'm getting distracted by the helicopter. Also, I'm gonna buy one of these at auction one day. My Uber's here. <laughs> Good one. Well, look at how many people there are here. There's a lot of people. Isn't that crazy? All right, well, we just gave you a real good tour of the BPG booth with Mr. Ben Goddard explaining trenchless technology, directional drilling, really, really cool stuff. He explained it much better than I ever could. I love, I love it. Uh, we couldn't really do a whole lot without it. They do fiber, so if you use internet, cable, cell phones, that's what they do. Pretty pretty important stuff. I guess at the event that we're at, there's 3,000 kids that come through. It's a really, really cool deal. It's cool to see how many contractors are out here promoting the trades. It's cool to see how interested all these kids are. It's cool to see just how cool the trades are in general. Um, there's not a whole lot of other industries that could do something like this. If it was a bunch of lawyers, you'd have some booths, some documents on it I, I don't know but out here you have you know the, the the governments here National Guard you have backhoes you have of course skid steers you got BPG with their directional drill there's a guy in a freaking adult human fish tank it's a really cool hands-on experience I wish there was more of this in the United States because this is what we need So right now we're out here with BPG. We're on Scottsdale Road, just north of Old Town Scottsdale. They are completing a bore right now. So they have their directional drill down at one end and they basically just dig a, a three by three hole at one end. And then at the other end, you have these guys with a vac truck wand digging out another hole. What's going on here is they're installing a run of conduit for a cell tower that'll be where these guys are, are digging a hole where the conduit will end at, putting in a new cell tower to upgrade the network to 5G. So I believe the owner of this project is, is AT&T. Now, there's a beautiful hotel here, the Doubletree Resort by the Hilton, uh, with some very nice landscaping. And instead of destroying all the landscaping, BPG can just show up with their directional drill and install the conduit thanks to trenchless technology. So. As you can see, there's only two small holes at either end. That's it. First, they will come in here with the vacuum 
and they will pothole if there's any existing utilities so they know exactly what's in the way before they start shooting. Then they'll start pushing rods from one end. A directional drill, all it is, it's, it's like a drill, it's making a hole, but it's going horizontally rather than up and down like traditional drilling. So he's pushing rods, I think they might be 10 foot, maybe I'm wrong on that. Pushing rods and drilling and steering the drill from that end and he's basically connecting that hole to this hole with the head of the drill. As he's going, as he's steering it, this guy, he has a little sensor that's picking up where that rod is underground so they know he's perfectly on track. Once he's all the way through, they'll hook on to the conduit at this end and then they'll pull it all the way through the hole they just created with the drill. To keep the hole open, they'll pump a bentonite slurry mixture in there and the hydrostatic pressure pushes against the, uh, the outside of the hole, keeps it open until the conduit goes through there. So that's really my very poor explanation of directional drilling and what's going on here. Ben probably explained it a lot better than I can. Smash the like button. If you like this video, smash the like button.